Ontario has announced all outdoor events cancelled until Labor Day. What? I'll say it again. Ontario has announced all outdoor events cancelled until Labor Day. That just now? Apparently. <laughs> well, folks, what can I say? That's it. Time to talk hockey. <laughs> How about that? I don't know. About, when he's saying it, we got a problem. Man, that's If you're the man. CFL. Oh. Write that down for the clip of the day. Uh, all outdoor events canceled to what? Labor Day. Yeah. Well, I was reading. Actually, I could, I could call it up here right now. I was reading a news uh, story this morning. It's a long story of why I got it, but I'm paying a healthy fee for a Canadian press subscription because it's, I told them it's the only news that I trust, John. I know. And here it is. Like I, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is just the news. I don't want anybody's opinion. I don't want people calling Doug Ford a clown. That's what you think, but I want the news. I want what's actually going on, okay? And I'll make my own assumptions from there. From the Canadian press, the Ontario government wants to vaccinate all willing adults against COVID-19 by mid-September. But experts say that won't happen without increased clarity and collaboration. University of Toronto epidemiologist Ashley Toot says the government should clarify its plan for second doses given the confusing piecemeal vaccination campaign thus far. Boy, that's for sure. The president of the Ontario Medical Association says she is fully on board with the province's plan for a two-dose summer. But it's mid-September now they're talking about vaccinating Ontarians, where three CFL teams currently reside. And so this is the actual news. It's not opinion, okay? That's why I'm saying you want to talk about Lisa McLeod, the heritage minister. People are calling her a moron yesterday and a dummy. I'm like, you, who's the dummy? What she look like? Saying things like, why does it matter? <laughs> From CFL Sim 2020 on YouTube, ugh, you literally could see Frenzy's heart break in that moment for the CFL. Oh, man, that's just, that's just too much. Oh, man. I can't believe this. From I, I Wayne. Mean, they're too early. I mean, that, this is I, 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 We can't stop. Wayne in Victoria, he's been chiming in with a lot of comments, and most of them I've let go by, but here's one. He says, the powers in be, that be in government don't care about sports at all. This is just dawning on you, people. This is just dawning on you. And nothing against you, Wayne. But I would hope that we turned the corner sometime months ago that, this, that the government cares about the health of the people. That is their job. And the sports is not necessarily a priority unless you can find a way to play safely. And let's see who did. The National Hockey League, Curling Canada, the Western Hockey League, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, the Canadian Premier League, the Canadian Elite Basketball League, all leagues that have played in Canada in the last year. If you find a way to play safely and you want to write the tab, go nuts. So... It's sorry, it just triggered me a little bit there. The powers that be in government don't care about sports at all. Even that's wrong because provincially here, the government's been writing checks to the sports organizations that haven't played to just cover, to cover it. So I can't even go along with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Backward step. That's a point of mind. So backward. Wow, it just... It just it, 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 I'm upset if, you haven't, if people haven't learned something in the last 15 months. If you haven't learned something, what have you been doing for the last 15 months as a person? Either getting better or getting worse. Um, from uh, Live 2 Question, watching on YouTube, says the most I ever hear about the CFL is from the Rod Peterson Show. Honestly, they should be thanking you for marketing them. That's really true, boy. That's a real good statement, strong. He says, that's the sad part. You say the CFL doesn't want to be talked about, yet you're probably the best marketing tool at the moment with 3 downnationcom Marketing for a big sports team can't be that hard. You wouldn't think. <laughs> you wouldn't. It, 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 it takes hard work, but it should be fun. But anyways, I said I don't want to talk about this. The poll question today is... 
Will we ever see Aaron Rodgers again in a Green Bay Packers uniform? And it's for Capital Automall, Universal Collision Center. 65% of respondents saying, no, we won't. We will never see Aaron Rodgers play again. And you're wondering, why are we talking about that? Because this morning on ESPN, where they cover the leagues that are playing, they're saying Aaron Rodgers may very well now set out the 2021 season for the Green Bay Packers, which, John, is unthinkable. Unthinkable. A man of that talent. As a Packers fan. A man of that talent. I mean, he's such a talented guy. Uh, It would be incredible if that happened. It would be unthinkable that the league would let that happen. But uh, I just, I don't know. I wonder about presidents of teams. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What they think. They get personal about it. And you can't do that. You can't get personal. You got to look at what's on the field, what the fans are. You got to look at those fans. The stands are filled. People love the game. You can't hurt it for them. You can't take it away from them. Well, I'll tell you what's happened uh, in sports over, and we, we've seen it over the last several decades, is the money has, in fact, ruined it. Money brings out the worst in people. It's the root of all evil, and it's made everybody be in it for themselves. Yep. I didn't want to be. But I am now because everybody else is in sports. Aaron Rodgers is doing what's best for Aaron Rodgers, and the Green Bay Packers are doing what's best for the Green Bay Packers. And it's it's an insolvable impasse. That's where they're at. You can't blame either side. What is done for the fans. 80,000 fans in Green Bay. 60,000 season ticket holders. I mean, come on. Oh, my God. You can't do this. I'm telling you, Mark Murphy, you're going to find yourself in a very unpopular situation walking down the street. Uh, Here's one. Before we break and we bring in Jared Bush, I'm excited for that. He says, the Canadian Football League seems to market like the Alliance of the American Football League. We had a team in Salt Lake City and most of the 1.5 million in the greater Salt Lake area had no idea they existed. But the Alliance of American Football lasted... One season. The Canadian Football League's been around for 100 years. 108? This would have been the 108th Grey Cup last year? I can't even remember anymore. So the Alliance had its problems, but it was a fledgling league. And they probably didn't have the money to market. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 